from wild monkeys and alligators to unwanted anacondas and pythons, here are 13 exotic animals released into the wild. Mr. Missile, thanks for subscribing. So how do we know all this stuff? Well, I'd like to say it's all sheer genius, but that's only partially true. Lol. Nah. It can take some time and research. But our main thing is that you lot can pick up some interesting information while also being entertained. If that happens, mission accomplished. Starlings. You might blame the appearance of these medium-sized birds on the work of William Shakespeare. Back in 1890, a group decided to release every bird mentioned in Shakespeare's works into North America for economic and cultural reasons. Since the birds were mentioned in Henry IV Part I, Around 100 European starlings were released in Central Park in New York. Since then, the population is thought to exceed some 200 million individuals. While they can put on some amazing displays, like coordinated flight patterns called murmurations, their impact on the environment is less attractive. They've become a major invasive pest, capable of ravaging wheat fields and displacing native bird species. Red-Eared Slider it's a semi-aquatic turtle that you might be familiar with. These critters are recognized as one of the world's most popular pet turtles. After originating in the US, its popularity has helped it spread to many other parts of the globe and has established itself as an invasive species in areas ranging from the Caribbean to Australia. Breeding populations have been found in Queensland and New South Wales, where they threaten native turtle species. In the wild, these critters can grow up to around one foot. That size, combined with rapid rates of reproduction and superior adaptability, allows them to outcompete native species for food and basking spots. Common Cayman these are small to medium-sized crocodilians. On average, they can grow to around six and a half feet long and weigh about 90 pounds, although larger sizes have been documented. Their smaller size makes them attractive to owners seeking to replace their pet alligators, after owning them was banned in parts of the US. They've since been released into the wild by pet owners, which is said to be the main reason for their appearance in places like Florida, where they've since become entrenched. It's thought that the reptile's carnivorous nature, along with parasites they carry, could negatively impact local ecosystems. Taku fish. You may have seen these animals from South America right here on Epic Wildlife. They're known for their bizarre teeth, which appear almost human-like. That unique physical trait has led them to becoming a popular choice for home aquariums. But home aquarists don't always realize to what large sizes these critters can quickly grow. That scares the owners into releasing the paku into the wild, where they can grow to more than 3 feet long and weigh over 40 pounds. While they can damage local ecosystems, the fish don't survive long term due to winter conditions. FYI, despite what you may have heard, the paku's scary teeth are mainly used to grind tree nuts that have fallen in the water, nothing else. Feral monkeys. Did you expect to see these primates on the list? Reese's macaque monkeys can weigh about 17 pounds and are identified by their pink faces. While native to Central and Southeast Asia, they are listed as a globally invasive species. Because they're habitat flexible, the animals have been able to establish feral populations from Brazil to Puerto Rico. In the US, the animals are thought to have been released or escaped into the wild after zoos or wildlife parks were destroyed by hurricanes. In one documented case from 1938, a colony of rhesus macaques was released into the wild as part of a tour cruise promotion in Florida. The highly intelligent and aggressive animals can force out many native species, and because they carry transmittable viruses like herpes B, they could pose a danger to humans. Asian carp. It was first introduced as a food fish to the US in 1831, so this animal has had plenty of time to become widespread. But it wasn't until the 1970s that the fish became recognized as a threat. That's when they were introduced to southern fish farms and rapidly spread across the country. They're big, aggressive creatures that can exceed 100 pounds and are noted for their ability to jump around 10 feet out of the water when frightened. They pose a major threat to ecosystems because they have no natural predators in North America, and females can lay around 500,000 eggs every time they spawn. Experts say that once the carp are established in an ecosystem, it's nearly impossible to eradicate them. Red lionfish. The venomous marine fish are known for their striking colors and are native to the Indo-Pacific. This species has become invasive along the eastern coast of the US and in the Caribbean. Experts think the creatures were introduced in the mid-1990s when Hurricane Andrew destroyed an aquarium in southern Florida. Other theories suggest that the lionfish were discarded by unhappy aquarists. However they got there, the animal's population continues to expand, with some areas reporting an increase of some 700%. Their massive numbers and lack of predators have forced other native species to flee to other regions, and also threaten coral reef systems. Red lionfish are considered one of the planet's most aggressive invasive species. 
snakehead. These fish are native to areas of Africa and Asia, but they're increasingly appearing in North American waters. Weighing over 12 pounds, they can grow more than three feet long. Their specialized gills allow them to migrate on land, and they've been known to flop across wetlands for up to 400 meters to reach bodies of water nearby. Provided they're wet, the fish can live up to four days out of water. Females can release more than 75,000 eggs per year. That, combined with a lack of natural predators, makes their population difficult to regulate. Did you know that some sources refer to this apex predator as Fishzilla? Green Iguanas These lizards and humans might have more in common than you think, especially in South Florida. Much like humans, they seem to enjoy the nice weather, scenery, and swimming pools. Unlike humans, many of them arrived there after pet owners released them into the wild. That often happens when the animals grow bigger than expected, usually around 5.5 feet long while weighing about 9 pounds. Some specimens, though, have been much larger. Around Florida, the lizards have been showing up around golf courses, along sidewalks, and in swimming pools. Over the past decade, the animals have been breeding in the areas they were dumped, including the Keys and Miami suburbs. Although they don't eat native animals, they do chew through valuable landscaping and eat indigenous plant life. Experts in Florida are hoping to keep their iguana population under control, unlike the situation in the Caribbean. On Grand Cayman, the green iguana population is said to exceed some 400,000 individuals. Goldfish a lot of people like to keep goldfish as pets, but just as many people are too willing to release them when the animals are no longer wanted. These critters belong to the carp family and can grow to 19 inches in the wild and weigh more than 2 pounds, and they've been swarming through waterways of the world. Their high rate of reproduction, combined with a scarcity of natural predators, means that goldfish can disrupt ecosystems by spreading disease and consuming resources. In Boulder, Colorado, someone dumped four to five goldfish in a lake. Several years later, upwards of 4,000 of the fish have upset the local ecosystem. And in Western Australia, huge goldfish weighing around four and a half pounds have posed environmental hazards there. That's because the invaders eat the eggs of native species and spread diseases not normally found in Aussie waters. Tegu lizard. It's a black and green reptile that can weigh around 30 pounds, measure 4 feet long, and is known to have powerful claws, jaws, and very sharp teeth. It's native to South America, but more than 100 sightings of the critters have been reported in Florida. Wildlife experts think that it was first introduced into the ecosystem by a lizard breeder who released his collection of animals into the wild. They have since been breeding throughout the state, where Florida's climate is similar to that of its native habitat. The lizard's population can increase rapidly, and they pose a direct threat to native species like reptiles and amphibians as they compete for food in space. While the lizards aren't typically known to be aggressive, they will defend themselves if they feel threatened. Experts advise people to make no attempts to capture or kill the animal, and call a professional trapper instead. Burmese pythons. In Florida, it seems the invasive population of python snakes is slipping out of hand. Recently, a Burmese python that measured some 9 feet long was sighted off the state's south coast. A kayaker spotted the reptile sunning itself on a research platform in Biscay National Park. It was the first python ever seen there. While a wrangler captured the snake a day later, the incident sent a sobering message that the numbers of this species are growing out of control, and the fact that they can swim could indicate it's only a matter of time until the serpents invade small islands off the South Florida coast. Those islands have been a refugee for mating turtles and nesting birds. The snakes aren't native to Florida, and were introduced when pet owners released the pythons into the wild. Attempts to control their expanding numbers have thus far failed, and the animals are now said to be breeding in the Florida Keys. Green Anacondas as if Burmese pythons weren't bad enough, Florida also has to contend with the invasive presence of the world's largest snake. Several specimens have been found crawling about in the Sunshine State. Most of them have measured around 8 to 9 feet long, so they weren't fully grown. The green anaconda can weigh more than 150 pounds and measure more than 17 feet long. It's one of the world's longest snakes as well. Wildlife experts think some of the reptiles escaped from homes where they were kept as pets. The introduction of the massive snake likely means they could supplant alligators and bobcats as top predators in the swamps, and put a squeeze on the local ecosystem. It's interesting to note that some of the animals have been captured in Melbourne, Florida, which was named for the city in Australia. And with all these monster snakes and other critters popping up there, kind of sounds like Oz, doesn't it? <laughs>